We are nothing sacred. We are nothing sacred. We are nothing sacred. With Maxwell Silverham. We are nothing sacred. With cruise control. We are nothing sacred. Sacred. Oh, yes, bitches. <laughs> oh, yes, bitches. We have got a good one for you guys today. Oh, this yeah, is yeah. The Nothing Sacred interview. I am Cruise Control. I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. And we, ha- go we have Nano Bader. Hello, yes. Is our man when it comes, you know, those uh, calls you get from Amazon and from Microsoft. Yes, we don't like those guys. Yeah, we don't. Oh, like man. He's the man for the scam slant, basically. He's that's the that guy. <laughs> First of all, let's, let's... I appreciate it, guys. I yeah, really thank you very much for coming into a little hole in the wall here. Yeah. How no um? So how the hell did you get to that side to start doing this on YouTube? Uh, like right. What... That's uh, that's a good question. So like pretty much uh, when it comes to like discovering like a sca- like just like retaliation against the scammers. Mm-hmm. Four years ago, like I, I, I let me just bring this up first. When it comes to like my YouTube channel and like recording scammers, I've been doing YouTube a lot longer than scam baiting, you can say. Mm-hmm. And I discovered, like, of course, you know, we watch you get those videos and you're recommended, like Jim Browning, you know, spying on the scammers. Everyone knows that series of, uh, right. you know, yeah. like the, the Sona Tower, the one he got raided. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like four years ago. But like, you know, you just watch videos like that and you're just like inspired to just like, okay, like if he can do that, you know, it, it can't be. So like, I just started to read, I started to do articles. Like I was just like really interested on like how Jim Browning, how Scam Bader, like pretty much people that I really wanted to like either work with or overall, like I was just inspired by what they were doing. And uh, I was just like, I want to find out how they are doing this. So at first it came with just like calling scammers. Cause like, I, I can't say like, I, I like, I'm, I'm definitely from the younger generation. So I don't receive much scam calls, but mm, like, I don't when think it, it comes- matters, man. I think if you have a phone, you're going to get scam calls. No, <laughs> no actually- like that's the thing. I- I'll get a scam call, but it's not, it's like, it's actually a funny joke. We have in the scam baiting community, like scam, scam baiters. It's like, we don't get targeted for scam. It's like, a, it's like a whole thing. Like for some reason we have we're cursed. Like I don't get a, I don't get an email from norton or anything like i don't get any of that i'll never get that because my information usually if i am if i'm honest if someone is giving like if you're receiving a call from a scammer or you have like an email someone is probably there's been a data breach within your information Mm -hmm. and then so like the scammer's house that somehow got to your information on a lead list and right. then they are now just calling you right because they they are like okay this person's this age they probably have like a surname very simple information and then they just robo dial like with sub, like uh, they can send out you mm-hmm. know 100 calls per minute however much it is you know they can they can do it depending on how big the call center is if they can take how many calls like they'll you know they have 50 guys on the floor you know was i kind of just go ahead yeah sorry i was just saying was it just like a yeah like i just you're just so tired of this shit. And you realize, hey, I kind of got a little knack for this, and I can kind of. Kind of, this. it was like it was like the pandemic time, and I was just like, okay, what else am I doing better than my time? Then may as well just like try. Oh, like I also forgot to mention, like when like when you watch Jim Browning or Scam Bader or even like Scammer Payback. I'm not even naming all of them, but like everyone, like if you watch someone save some like a victim, you saw you watch like a poor person like uh, that that didn't know what was happening. They didn't know they were mm-hmm. gonna be like. Uh, tricked and never and overall they're usually really thankful so like when i watched that it was just like inspiring to to maybe try to do that with someone else and when i first got to save my first victim it was like a crazy feeling it was like felt really good so what was your I, youtube content like prior to doing the scam baby? yeah that's a good question like before it was just like doing anything you know like posting videos with my friends like just gaming like like things that like just you would normally do if you were post like like just like that type of channel just with my friends it was kind of like a not like a, you can't say a family channel, but it was just like a family channel for just like myself like okay. to look back on. So, so pretty much it was like on a whole different page than Nanobater. And then I just made the Nanobater channel and then it just kind of went from there. I was like, I really want to record. And like the videos that you see on Nanobater, they're like, some of them are gone. Like I've deleted them since because they were just like, I didn't feel they were comfortable. Like I wasn't comfortable with them being on uh, the platform. I don't know. I just feel like my, they, they weren't up to the T that I felt like a, the video I could make. Um, mm-hmm. It was like at the beginning, you know, I wasn't really reversing access scammers computers. I was just more of, um, you know, just calling them, wasting their time, cursing at them in Hindi. You know, you got <laughs> Chutia, Bencho, get out of my face, you <laughs> right. know, all that stuff. Like that's, that, that's the stuff fun, that Max you know? does. The stuff that Max yeah, does. That's, yeah. that's always a fun time. Like, dude, everyone loves doing that. But it doesn't um, really solve the problem. 
Well, you know, if if you did, if, if, if I I I, I like can uh, you know give kudos to anybody that like calls them and waste 10 minutes of their time, 10, 20 minutes of their time. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, it, it, you, even if it doesn't solve the problem, like it doesn't, sure, they're not, you know, being recorded or they're not being fully exposed, but maybe poor Betty, she was being robo-dialed right there and uh, Scammer Jason wasn't, since you were calling, since you were since you were talking to Scammer Jason, you wasn't able to talk to Miss uh, Betty, yeah, you know? Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, exactly. So did, did you, oh, I'm sorry, Max. Oh, ahead. no, I was just going to say, where, where did you get all the technical know-how? That's exactly what I was going to ask. Like, where, <laughs> what, 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 what I mean, because, man, you're hacking into their, their, uh, their, the, the cameras, right. you like, geolocate them, it's crazy. So at first I had like, I have like general knowledge in IT, you can say, like, I know how, like, how a general networking like works and stuff like that, how like devices make callbacks to each other so i had i wasn't like completely going into it blindly like i knew how computers worked i knew how they worked uh, with each other but when it came to like figuring out how to social engineer them because at the end of the day when you're talking to a scammer and you're it's, it's acting you're pretending to be someone that you're not you're pretending to be vulnerable for a scam that mm-hmm. you're not you're obviously not going to fall for so like it has a sense of acting to it so it took a while like the first couple of scammers you call like they're just like okay obviously this person's like they're, they're not they're, they're just trying to fuck with me you know or they yeah. don't even sound like a real victim so yeah. when it came around to like you know uh like finding out how to to do things and stuff it came all from the internet if i'm honest you everything that you can that i do everything that we all do is technically can be found on the not every single little tool can be found no but most of most of what we do with enough research with enough reading of articles you can find out how things are done, judge, and, and people who have general IT knowledge probably watch the videos and like that. That could have been done in multiple ways because the scammers, the, the, they're in India. They have very vulnerable, like networks and very vulnerable. Like they have, they're just vulnerable overall. Yeah, and and it's just easy to attack those types actually, of. Yeah, uh, th- that's actually a question I was going to ask you. We're like, why, why India? Why just it just? Yeah, seems why is that just, a big like, mecca like, for that? We were watching yeah. a couple so, of your videos yesterday, and it's like from here in India, from here, this section yes, here. Yes, for sure. Um, like, there's the, the truth is, is not all scams call come from India. You know, there's like the no, people, of like, there's right, of course. Like, there's the PCH scammers. You guys, you know, they uh, do like prize scams. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, oh you won, won six million. Yeah. Exactly, you won six million dollars, but they're just sitting in Jamaica in like a crack shed, telling you like yeah, that you were from the the publisher's clearinghouse. We're gonna get you your six million dollars tomorrow. Just go to the go get gift cards for me. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> right. Yeah, so it's that, that, that like so it definitely not all scams come from India, but the, the truth of the matter is these guys in India, they they just like it's it's I hate to say it, it's kind of tolerated over there. They mm-hmm. they don't have work and they're like they see their buddies, they're like, Oh, we're in a call center right now. We're making we're making thirty two thousand rupees per month. We're making as much as a freaking engineer. Like, come on, join us, you know, like we're gonna we're stealing like this usually not all of them go into it knowing that it's a scam. You know, maybe like they, they were told like, okay, you're going right. to get a job here. They go into there and then now they realize they're stealing from people and then they leave, you know? So they doctor it up and say, oh, we help people with their Microsoft accounts. They go, oh, that's Maybe, a, that's like, I don't know how exactly the job. Yeah, seriously. Like, that's actually a good, uh, that you brought that up because actually I'm watching a group of scammers on their cameras that, um, that <laughs> right now? That, well, not right now, but in general, like, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, like I, I've been watching them. They, uh, they do job entry, so they don't, they don't just scam people from like the U.S. or the U.K. or like Austria or Germany. They literally just scam people from India. They call them, telling them like, you know, you're gonna get a job. Like you were gonna, like they pretty much go on a website for mm-hmm. people who have resumes, and then they call them, telling them like, oh, you're gonna get these three jobs, and it's pretty much you don't pay to enter a job. But these guys pretty much social engineer people into paying into getting a job because you go to a job to get paid, right, right. <laughs> you know. You, so it's well, like, I've heard the one yeah. where they say, "Give you know, give us access to your account so we can give you your first paycheck." So then right, go, right, you know, that, yeah, yeah, that's the whole shebang. I don't know how these. I haven't seen the full mm-hmm. thing how it goes with these guys because they they're not very successful. Right, um, that, that's a crazy scam. Basically, you're scamming the people you're trying to hire exactly. to scam for you. It makes yeah, yeah. They're, they're scamming. <laughs> they're scamming, and the thing is, it's it's actually pretty useful because they scam in English, which makes it really useful for us to get them arrested because we can mm-hmm. we don't have, we don't have to translate anything. We just we just know it. We know right, what they're right. saying. We know how the scam works. So mm-hmm. th- that means they're scamming people probably from south of India, where who they don't really speak Hindi or Punjabi or. You know, they don't speak in like they just speak English or they're not very good with in, in uh you know Hindi speaking mm-hmm. or any Indian languages. So they just uh the scammers will talk to them in English. Okay. But, so it's like kind of the uni- universal language for those languages they in don't that know. That's South India, yeah, like that area. I guess they just don't know. I don't know. 
Well, yeah. I'm curious. I, I'm curious. I watched some of your stuff, and you have you pick up pictures of some of these apps, like something, some light app or something like that that they use, or some kind of like. So, do, do they create that themselves to use for these scams to be able to do no. this, or are they? So with that X Lite you're talking about, I believe that's what you're talking about, Light yeah. app. The, uh, the that's pretty much a calling application. Okay, gotcha. And what it is is it's pretty much just a SIP account. Uh, if, if you don't know what a SIP account is, it's like a virtual. Uh, it's pretty like a virtual like uh, phone system technically. Like uh, they yeah, can use. Yeah. There, there's like there's like multiple of them they can use, and pretty much the scam boss or whoever like uh, is managing the phone system, they will pay for multiple numbers that they can cycle through, and then they'll they'll depending on the scam like if they're let's say doing amazon refund right mm -hmm. uh they'll do the, they'll send out the robo dials you know um, yeah and that's how they do the robo dials is through that right and then they get the call on the x light and then that's how like so yeah i've used customer service a lot so i understand how those virtual systems work. right exactly exactly so uh, that's my question uh, not, not ahead, to cut you, you off man my bad no, go. no no you're good don't worry yeah go <laughs> so, ahead so no my question is is there a uh are they have a way of knowing like Oh, this person is a problem person. They call in and they just cuss us out because there was one time I played along with the Social Security thing. I didn't use any profanity. And this guy just went in on me. And I'm like, how the fuck did he know? So so like after a while, like there's the, the thing is, like, it goes back to the acting. You know, like after a while, they're like, this person doesn't seem like they're going to give me money. Like you have to be like, like there's certain things, like especially they're trying to scare you. Like with that Social Security scam, they're telling you like, oh, there's drugs under your name. You need to really sound like, like if we're trying to hack them, at least you need to really sound yeah. like you. That there's actually drugs under your name. You need to be like, what, like what? There's drugs under my name, or yeah. like if I if I'm pretending to be like a like a like a like an old lady, because I would never just talk in this voice. They'll hang up on me right away if I talk in this voice, bro. It's over. I, oh, I, I you're using like those this. voices, yeah. Subcut I go, hello, my name is Stephanie. I've got a problem on the computer. <laughs> And then they'll fall for it. It's like, right. it, like even though it's not even that good, like I don't even sound like an old lady, they'll still fall for it. Yeah, it's because, it's because there's two ways of doing it. There's there you can you can go on like if you go on the internet and type in Amazon.com, you will get a shit ton of wrong numbers for Amazon.com. Probably, yeah, and you'll get connected to one of those like, guys, and then they'll just try I, to like. I actually yeah, used to. I'll just say I actually used to work there, so I understand uh how they work you don't and the funny you, thing about amazon yeah you don't they, they try to drive you away from amazon they try to drive you away from calls that's like yes. the main thing amazon does mm -hmm. it's like yep. all done through the app if you try that's what we that's what we usually tell our victims as well is that amazon in specific if they ever get an if you ever get an email from amazon giving you a specifically a phone number like it's usually almost 100 percent a scam yes. because they will never ever direct calls to a phone number like it's never like amazon just doesn't do that they don't they don't they don't handle cost like they, they don't you guys don't like you try to amazon tries to minimize the phone yeah either call it's either, they try to push you exactly. toward chat or email, email exactly. correspondence. it's just not, easier right yeah, it's just easier oh yeah and it's it's easier and it's uh but they still definitely make, i guess they get a lot of stuff and like a, a lot of calls of course but the, right, one, of the right. main, one of the main things is you, we never gave out any info ever we never asked for any info or gave out any that stuff so yeah if you're listening out there and anyone from any company asks you for your password or your username over the phone for any respectable company i don't give a damn if it's walmart target amazon yeah for sure hang up that fucking phone because that's the scary. scary thing is is they don't even need your username or password what they need is just a social engineer you oh yeah what's your amazon email okay mm -hmm. like, i'm gonna send you a one-time verification to your phone right yeah, yeah. It, it tells you in specific because what they're doing is they're putting your email into the amazon forgot password and when it, when you do that, it sends a verification code with numbers mm -hmm. to your cell phone or your email, and they're like, "Okay, ma'am, we're gonna send you from Amazon a yeah. verification code to your phone." And if you, it tells you in those specific messages, "Do not share that code yeah, with anybody. It, we will never contact you to ask for it." Absolutely, and they, but they don't. Yeah, and they and no one it. reads that. They don't read that. They're just like, "Oh yes, yes, it's uh seven one, and it's over." They have they, they've already <laughs> right. reversed access to your Amazon account. They've already got so that that, that this is the thing. I've had like a victim where they. Where they've done that, they reverse access her Amazon account. But thankfully, she was like, she already like knew. She was like scared that someone would already like somehow do that. And she mm -hmm. specifically every time she purchased something, she would take off her credit card, off of her Amazon. Yeah. Like she saved. Oh, it, it's much. forgot the you, you yeah. can click. Yes, uh, well, if you have card. if you have credit cards linked with your Amazon, if they took the reverse access, all they have to do is buy themselves gift cards, and that's it. They just buy themselves yep. gift cards, virtual gift cards, and that's it. They that's just, all they have to uh, do because that's 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 basically untraceable. You can't trace. You can't trace it and. Uh, yeah, for you, can. like, oh, no, you can't like you can trace the gift card to a certain extent. You're not gonna find out who, no, like who who like submit who like redeemed it. You're not gonna like it's easy to launder those. You know, it's not so and, well, and Bitcoin to work, too. Yeah. Bitcoin. Yeah, I used to work with them, and 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 the the and the gift cards were just always a pain in the ass because I've gotten no, plenty no. of those calls where I don't understand why 
I have a $500 gift card. So it's just taken off my account. It's like, well, what did you talk to? The last time yeah. I called, you know, and I gotta, I gotta say though, I, I, I'm very, very, you know, obviously very compassionate towards, uh, towards these, towards people that are getting scammed. But my God, listening to some of these oh, calls, yeah, for like, sure. how no, the it's, it's really hell, sad. How no. the hell are you getting fucking? Hello, I'm going to cast you for your card now. <laughs> uh, I know. You yes, had, yeah. You had or, one or, lady or, in one of your videos that was just like. Or, well, I guess I gave it. I'm like, oh my god, yeah, she definitely yeah, sounds. And, like and I'm gonna talk about that in a second too. But it's got to get this off my chest. Like, because and they sound, they don't sound professional at all. And then they go like, they'll be, oh my god, what did you do? Like, because I guess they no, get no, this. No, they're they're very, they're very. Once they've already like, like they once they've already said their first set script, they they will start going their own way. They will start telling you, no, ma'am, listen to me now. Like they'll do it. Their, they'll do it their way if it has to go their way. Like they'll. And not even that, like, they'll just talk a bunch of crap to their victims. It's terrible. It's horrible. Like, yeah. these poor elderly ladies, what I'm hearing, it's like, it's not good. Oh, and, I've and, heard and, some and, uh, on yeah. Kit Boga, you know, where the guy actually threatened to, to shoot the lady. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because he <clears> would, know. like, redeem the $500 gift card or whatever. Like, I don't yeah, even he know said what it was. Like, I take a bullet and blow your brains out, you Oh, yeah, dude. They'll, they, you know? they'll say, like, the most vulgar. I have plenty of clips of them telling me to go... Like, especially as my, they, they'll say the worst stuff if you pretend to be a female. If you pretend to be a female, they'll go in. They'll, they'll oh, yeah. say some pretty, and not, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, I can't even post it on YouTube because obviously I'll get, yeah, like, it's you so know, bad. Strike. Yeah. It, it, it's yeah, interesting it's so though because, because I think part of it is, it's like a reaction. Like, they're probably get they're getting shit on all day by 90% of their callers. Dude, 90% dude, of their listen, callers like are not, 90, exactly, exactly. Most of their callers are doing what Max shitting does. on them and yeah. pretty much also they don't get like, it's like they're waiting for that. Like they'll fail, fail, fail. Wait for that one percent the next day to fall for their sixty thousand dollar refund scam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because all they need is that one percent. They need that one percent to just literally that one lady, that poor grandma. She doesn't know how a computer works. She literally yeah, just wants to find her cooking recipes. You know? <laughs> or yeah. Right. Or, she, or she's getting Boy, a call by someone who's saying yes, sir. Amazon has kind of has been uh, compromised or whatever. Yeah. It's and just, they're it's like, just oh terrible. my god, it has. Oh no. And it's well, like, you'll, see, you'll, see that's why it, yeah. I think, because even with, with speaking of the Amazon scam, there was something the other day where, like, whenever I hit one to talk to someone, they'll either hang up on me or I got a lady the other day that went, she answered and goes, no, and then hangs <laughs> up. So I'm like, no. Do they, they must have my information. They must have me well, as a problem number in there. Or yeah, that's what I used to think as well. I used to think that as well. But like, mm -hmm. like I, I used to, because they do have some type of messaging. Like, if you've called the same call center, before right. multiple times they'll have like a, a messaging app through the mm -hmm. land where they can just tell each other this number troll don't answer that phone and then you'll pretty much either and if they do answer it like they're like and then someone answers it like not knowing that it was the same number they'll just check the caller id check the land chat like all oh, this number and they're just like either ban you like slash obviously block you ah so they or, do have a way of telling if well, you're a problem child <laughs> they have a way of telling you're a problem child if they if they're a big call center because they're smart enough to to keep track of like we don't want to get messed with let's just like, because they pretty much know if 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 one of them gets messed with, they're gonna call back and mess with another one if there's fifty of them sitting in a room, right? Yeah. Okay. So, well, I'm, so, I'm also wondering. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish no. Go, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, me or Silver? Because I, you know, I wasn't gonna say much. I was just gonna say like, uh, okay. since they're all in the room, like with fifty of them, it's hard for them to, you know, you can't just if they're across the room. You can't just they have like the land yeah. chat to talk with, you know. So I'm, I'm wondering, like, like I'm wondering this, and I've talked this about with Max before. I'm wondering if his answering of the calls all the time also contributes to him getting more of them yes 100 percent. no no no. Well, you answer once you answer once they put you on a list of uh, they're gonna sell you to 10 of their buddies <laughs> uh, that's what happens yeah yeah they, they even actually make at the end of the month i've seen it like they will make like lists of mm -hmm. all the people they've either answered scammed or whatever and they're gonna sell them because it's more money for them yeah that's why uh, that's why when i do end up trying to hack them i don't like I tried to give them minimal information because even if they don't steal money from me, they're still going to try to get the money out of the information they got out of me. Let's say I give them my full name, my address, my phone number, and an email. Let's say they're going to sell that to someone that wants a 70 year old that lives in New York that's going to fall for their scam, you know? Mm, yeah. Right. So what you're doing, Max, is why well, you hate the calls. The more you answer, the more you're going to get. So it's up yeah, to you that's for you sure. Wanna... Unless you want to mess with more of them. If you want more of them, you want to waste more people's time. There I you just go. enjoy it. I really do. I have fun doing it. Yeah, you know, the more you call, yeah. But are you using your real phone number? That's oh, the yeah. thing. It's my real phone. Yeah, you should probably be careful. That's the one thing. Like, even though they can't, even though they can't do anything, you should just like. I don't know if you live in the U.S. or anything, but you can oh, set up a, you can you can set up a text now, which is ah. just a free uh free VoIP, 
and you can okay. call most scammers. And then once you've already answered a couple on lows, like you can just call back a couple scammers that you get on your real phone number with a text now. And then you should just get all the scam numbers going through your text now. So that, that's the safest way to do it. Just so, because the thing is, if you live in the US, I don't know if you know this, if I have your phone number, all I have to do is put it in a website and I can find out pretty much everything about you. So that's a scammer... Uh... A scammer yeah. will do that. A scammer will do that. They will they will see your phone number. They will like, okay, I don't know this person's name. Let me act like I'm from a company by putting it in this website called That's Them. I'll literally put it in the chat right now. You oh. go on this website. Yeah, you can put it, you can put your like uh, own phone number right now, like on your like privately later. And you can just see if your information's on there. You can ask for it to be taken down, I think. I'm not sure. Sure. But it's just if you, it means if your information has been sold pretty much. Like let's say you signed up to Apple.com, right? And then right. Apple had, or like you have an iCloud account and then hopefully not apple had a data breach you know people will know your information now they know yeah. that b so, silver lives here with that and you know his phone oh i see too. so they can tell they can tell this is what you have you have an amazon account and they can even oh, see your they can even see the amount of money you have so if they can see how much money you have through the that's them like they can like see an estimated like net worth or whatever i don't even know what it is like i don't know how accurate it is if i'm honest with you like i've never really looked into it scary but then it's again, scary I mean, but that but that's only for people who live in america so if you don't live in america then you shouldn't have to worry about your information well, being we live in america <laughs> yeah yeah it happens yeah yeah, yeah. well but, but it's also just the nature of the internet i mean if you're on the internet pretty much going oh, to yeah. a lot of sites anyways you if your information is there regardless it's there of it's there. It. it's mm -hmm. there exactly it's there it's, all, it's out there it's your data is out there that's just even what vpns it, yes there's vpns that they say they work all the time uh, i don't know it's being passed through all your information is being passed through even it, like Somewhere. your first yeah exactly someone has your information someone has it on a data someone has it you know man that's um <laughs> It's scary. It's really yeah. scary. You know, the other thing that. that's really bad is the phone cloning that they'll do. So they'll clone somebody's phone number and use it. Like, uh, like spoofing. Them. You mean like spoofing. So Spoof, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like the same thing. Cloning. Yeah, spoofing. Same thing. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Uh, it's just, yeah, they they when they do that, it's pretty fucked up. Like they'll pretend to be Bank of America, let's say, and right. then they'll they'll spoof off Bank of America and it'll call you. Oh, they'll like, just use a random number. Like I've called yeah. somebody back going, hey, did you? Oh, call no. Me? Oh, no, no. It'll be some random victim. They'll do that, too. Yeah, yeah, they'll do that too. I'm, uh, they don't care. I, I'm still over. I'm, I'm just a, kind of bewildered. Like maybe it's because I know there's there's people that are older and maybe don't have their wits about them. But how do they get these people to like to to be, to go? Oh, oh I I need I need you to go to a store. Right. They have them stay on the phone with them and drive to the store. And then they right. buy them <laughs> cards from a so, local store to pay back. Some it's hard to believe, right? So. What the because we're young, right? I mean, I don't know how young you guys are. I don't know how. Like, I, I'm just saying, like, we, we know how the scam works. We know right. how yeah. we've watched it. We've, we've, you know, like, we, we with it. Yeah. Exactly. We, we just, under, like, we, we've, got, you also, like you guys said, like, you, you use a computer, you know, like, you know how your Microsoft doesn't give you a warning telling you to call their number. Like, you know, not to right. call that number. So, but an old grandma doesn't. And if, if, like, for example, we're going with the social security scam and the aspect of they yeah. will tell you to go buy gift cards, right? So yeah. it, it all is all just social engineering. It's based off a script that if the 1% falls for it, it's like a golden, it's golden for them. It's like a, the lottery. Um, it, it, it consists of telling them like it, it, with social engineering and we do this to them as well. Um, and pretty much they're trying to make the victim believe there's a benefit out of what they're doing. So first the, let's say mm -hmm. we'll break it down. The beginning of the script is okay. We're gonna tell this person that there there's someone with drugs and you know they have uh, blood and whatever alcohol and well, all this stuff like the dead body, like a, a car found in Louisiana, <laughs> a in car Texas. found in Louisiana. It's exactly a car <laughs> found in Texas with your drug drugs and your fingerprints and that was registered under your name. All the bullshit, you know. They tried to scare you. Right. If they got you scared, they got you on the hook. Now they're telling you. Like they'll they'll switch it over all about your bank account. They'll switch it all over about your funds. Like people are gonna steal your money. We need to secure your case. Blah blah blah. We need to make sure we can secure all of your funds. Let's make a secure safeguard wallet. Then they're like, okay, to get a secure safeguard wallet, Homeland Security, Federal Police Department has affiliated stores. <laughs> like and then like, it's like it's so dumb. It's like yeah, it's like we would never believe that. We would never believe that. It's like what? But like the old grandma, she's like scared for her life. She's like, thinks she's going to go to jail. They're telling her, we're going to send the police to your house in like in an hour. You know, she's freaking out. Like this poor lady just wants to do her thing. Right, right. Poor All of a sudden now you're going to go to jail? <laughs> like what? Yeah, poor man, poor lady. Exactly. They're telling you like, you're going to go to jail. We found drugs under your name. We're going to send the police to your house. Like we found the jar, we found the car, you know? So yeah, at the end of the day, they're trying to at first to scare you. And then we're trying to benefit you by 
like securing your case you know like they're, they're, they're they, they you, when they're when they're exactly we're here for you there you go it's like it's like we're trying to help you but in reality we started the whole problem from the beginning you know and <laughs> right. it's kind of the it's the root from that from all the scams it's like oh there's a hacker in your computer no we're the hackers we're trying to get into your computer <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, like, my favorite is how they change the um you know they make it look like it's your bank and oh let's put in the amount you know, sixty dollars, yeah. and all of a sudden it shows six thousand, and the guy's going, "Oh, man!" Like what they you they temporarily added the banking page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. And, they and they're not it. even actually putting any money anywhere at all. Are of they? course not. Like, They'll never. Yeah. Why would they ever do that? They want to steal your money. <laughs> <laughs> right. my, point, no, my point is, they're not actually. There's no actual transaction going on with you putting any money there. You're not. Oh yeah, money. exactly. They're, they're, they're trying to get you to put the wrong amount, and so you'll go to the store to get the cards exactly. to cover it's that. Exactly. It's just amount. a. It's a manipulation of the banking page in order to persuade you that the your mistake was actually done. Because if they just make you put in that mistake, that this can be some fake PayPal, you know, refund server. But if you actually look with your two own eyes at the bank and you're like, like at the bank, like we know that someone can temporarily edit the banking page by just inspect elementing it and then, you know, temporarily. I don't know if you guys knew that. I don't know if you guys know that. I, I had no idea how that's even done. Do they have so, like temp templates like where like it's almost so like let's, you say, go, let's say your bank is... Want me to uh, share my screen? Like I can yeah. share my screen. Oh, host disable screen sharing. Okay, oh, I'm yeah. Gonna, sorry, man. No, that's <laughs> no, fine. That's it fine. Won't that show makes sense. anyway. Yeah. No, that, well, yeah that, that, don't worry about it. I can send like a, I can explain to you. It's, it's probably explained in one of my videos, but pretty much you can go to any page on YouTube anywhere. You can go to your YouTube channel. You can go to your subscribers and you can right click on it and you can click expect, inspect element and you're pretty much looking at the source code of that page, and you can change it temporarily to whatever you want. Like let's say oh, you want to is. change inspect yeah. at the bottom element, right here. expand yeah. element. You know, click on its inspect element, and then you're gonna have like a little thing that pops up on the right, and then you're gonna find out to wherever you highlight it. So let's say you highlighted your YouTube name, right? Mm -hmm. And then you right click inspect element, and then you're gonna be able to change that to whatever you want temporarily. So what the scammers do is since you've already logged into your bank they'll blacken your screen with whatever remote. Let's say they have access to your computer with like Team Viewer or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they'll just blacken out your screen and then they'll just, ins they'll temporarily edit your banking page to say, you know, 16,000, you know, we refunded, you we, like, you put 16,000 to your account, we need the money back, you know? And like, you see it with your own two eyes and you're fully convinced, like they're convinced, you know? So like, it they looks see like it your on bank account. Bank. It, no, money. it is your bank account. It is your bank account. Like, you've logged in and they just manipulated it with an, ah. a, a temporary edit. All you have to do is refresh the page. So what yeah. I've actually done and what Jim Browning has done in a couple of his videos. Um, of course, you guys know Jim Browning. Um, oh, yeah. Like, English, yeah, dude. Of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think like, he's English. He's something. English, Irish. He's, uh, yeah, yeah. Like the UK. Um, uh, or like Northern Ireland. I don't even know. So you said what they but, would do is what, he, what you guys would do is you would... Uh, You'd go back at them or like change it around on them while they're on the phone. So like since we can see the banking page, like we can see the scammer doing the scam, like all we have to do is refresh the page for the victim. So the victim can see that the money wasn't actually transferred. You right. Know? It didn't happen. Yeah. Okay. Your account balance right. still Exactly. Wasn't. So we've done that in the past and it's actually worked, but they're like, like, like the scammer doesn't realize that we fresh it. And then the victim is like, the victim's like, but I, I, it looks normal. Like they're like, what, what does this mean? Like it hasn't transferred yet. So and then. And like it ruins the scam. Yeah, go ahead. So how how how, how does it like okay like because if they can get into your bank or not get into your bank, they're actually on your computer getting into your bank because they take control of your computer, right? Because like they right? social engineered you into logging yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. So wouldn't that just be enough for them to have your bank account for? Or is that just because they want to get caught and then in the, in the gift cards are a way of, of like putting another level? Like of they don't even always go for gift cards, but like they for the yeah. most yeah. They, but they do they do go for gift cards often because it's the easy. It's pretty easy for them. Yeah. Um, and but plus, in you regards, can't reverse gift cards. You, like, you can reverse a bank issue. Like, if you, they went to your bank account and actually exactly. like, took money there out, you, you can literally go to your bank exactly. immediately. There and you go. And you're going to reverse it. it. it they would and never then they're going to be caught because they're going to be, or at least they're going to be looked into because they have a link to you in that way. But if you go, right. oh, well, you just, just go to Target and get $500 in well, whatever cards. Amazon and don't forget, cards too, or, on a bank page, you know, they, they put like little stars in front of your numbers, like. XXXX in the last four right, right. Your account. Yeah. So they don't have the full bank account number. Exactly. And they won't even get your password because it will also show the stars when you log in. So it, right. it's not really about for them to extort. It's more, even yeah. if they like, see this, you think about it. They're not, they're not even like people will call these guys hackers. They're not even hackers. Like, no. they're, they, I, I just call them a hacker. They're not even not. What they are is they're social engineers. And if they were hackers, like they're begging people to go to their bank. <laughs> like, how are they hackers? Like, they're begging <laughs> yeah. people to go to the bank and take out money. You're not like, a hacker. Drive anyway. to your bank. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Drive to your bank. Like, it makes no sense like uh and that's another point maybe they'll like uh like even they, they'll just ask for hard cash and they'll, you get the hard cash they'll tell you a thailand 
or like a, they'll usually actually if we're going to they're they're if they're going for cash they'll tell you to mail it in fedex right so it's a weird yeah they put it in a book and a box and yeah books whatever it doesn't matter like a box with the book and then with the tin foil around the money and blah 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 actually then, uh trilogy media does a lot of that i think yeah trilogy media does a lot of that type of stuff the money the money mules because the, usually yeah. that you they won't just send that package straight to india you know but the money mule somebody uh, in, in chicago US. or some exactly someone in, in illinois will take that package uh <laughs> probably get a cut from right. the package depending on how much money yeah. i'm assuming it's over if a scammer's going for cash, it's got to be over a thousand dollars, usually yeah, over a thousand, yeah. three thousand dollars. Because why they else would they be going Why else for would it? they do that? Especially when they're getting such such true turnaround, they need to go get a big a big bite. Yeah, that, they usually the will go in for the big. Yeah, right. And uh, uh, and but that also makes it simple, you know, easier because less traceable. Those cards are less traceable. You know, to, like we've seen them is, like yeah. do thirty k wire transfers to like Holy Thailand shit. bank accounts. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll do big try, like they'll get the victim to be like, uh, "Please, ma'am, I I won't, I don't want to lose my job, ma'am. Please, I need to get this money back into my. I will get fired if I get like, cause you know, you know, they're they're like, I'm gonna lose my job if you don't refund me the money back that you stole from my company. They're pretty right. much putting all the pressure onto the victim. They're like, mm -hmm. you're, they're gonna, I'm gonna lose my job. I'm not gonna be able to feed my family. It's so fucked up, you know. Have you noticed right. uh, uh, this being a tendency toward more older, older women than men, or does it was it kind of equal out on that? I think it's it equal, age is the main thing, right? Age is the main thing. Yeah, I think it it equals out for like when I in in terms of listening into scammers, it's definitely both. I hear male and female victims all the time, but definitely tar they target the older demographic because it's easier for them. Well, not only that, but you can also kind of that's put obvious. more pressure on them, especially older women. You can that seems like you can a lot of times put more pressure. That's on what, them. yeah, yeah, you definitely. Know, like, I feel like when aggressive. it comes to those types of scams, they go in hard with the the. the, the well, not only right. that, but uh, you know, a lot of you got these older women whose husbands handled everything. You know the majority of while they were together, so right, then the yeah, guy exactly. dies and she can't even pump gas. You know what I mean? It's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And, and they know it. They take advantage of it. what happens. Like, because so, one of the things that I think is pretty crazy is is that you actually call the people who have been the victims. Yeah, how do you do that? And and been and try to kind of tell them that happened. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That, that's something that I yeah, that we like. You know, Jim and we do because like that's what I've been inspired to mostly do from the start was to make sure I can stop people. From because mm -hmm. oh, you know that is a main part of my channel. Like I try to not drive away from the focus from my channel is the expose of scammers. I like to expose them, and you know I like to you obviously see I like to show their faces and stuff. When it comes right. to their CCTV, I be careful. Um, oh, like yeah, in, in, that's, like that's, that's in my yeah. next video, I'm planning to unblur everything. But like in the, like in my last one, I I, I blurred their uh, faces just because I didn't know if they were gonna claim like defamation or whatever. Oh, uh, oh wow! Like, right, because like the, those guys we got arrested, so um there like, was still an ongoing case. Because they have to go to court or whatever. Hmm. Um, so I, I, go, ahead. go ahead. Yeah. No, you. No. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Sorry. Uh, but your question was uh, like um. How do, you how do get they the victims? How do, well, how do they react? Like first of all, right, you, right. How do I get their numbers? Victims, right. So yeah. for the most part, like the way I, I know this is driving a little bit like away from the focus, but the way I, as you said, like how do I get to the victims? Well, it all starts off from me pretending to be a victim as I, as I, as I let scammers. I do the one thing that you're kind of supposed to not do. And I deliberately set up my home machine to where if a scammer connects to me, I can, there's like a window in time where I can reverse access them and then see what's on their computer screen. Mm -hmm. um, and then further there, I'm able to uh, in like uh, kind of keep myself permanently in there and then spy on them. And since these guys, their computers are their phone systems, you know, like they don't use like how you know how we mentioned how they the virtual calling, right? The virtual phone systems, like oh, the Magic Jack or one of those guys. Yeah. Like they, they, the, 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 the X Lite, the micro SIP, like those calling applications, they're on the computer. Some of them do use desk, desk phones, right. and those are a little bit of the, the harder operations to monitor. Um, but the ones that do use like the calling applications, they're the easiest ones to monitor because we can hear the victim firsthand. We can hear the scammer from the, from the computer audio. Cause since we have access to their computers, we can just, they have microphones plugged into the computer. Ah, yeah. Okay. So you can hear they, everything. We can That's hear great. everything. Yeah. So if we can hear what they're saying, we can, Get the um, numbers or get the names or exactly yes, and we can see, see their the we can see their computer screen so if we can see yeah. the computer screen and usually it's if it's a scam target in america which most scammers now their hours are very americanized they target america yeah, um yeah. i can find out usually a good amount about my victim and this is where your data can come useful for someone like me like a private investigator that watches scammers um like to, when, when it comes to saving you because if 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 i search up your number and that's them and i find out your landline when you're not answering your cell phone that could save you
You know what yeah. I'm saying? Oh, I see. So that's how you yeah. get them sometimes. That's how that's how we get, you know, like even like <clears throat> even using those websites can benefit us when it comes to even though it's a little creepy and we're finding out, yeah, their husband's name or whatever, it's it's saving them in the long run from thirty thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, even even we'll save people for a thousand dollars. It doesn't matter anybody who's being scammed and we're watching it, we'll try to notify them, obviously. Like, hey, <laughs> please hang up the phone. You ever have a victim that Think you're the scammer? Of course, all the time. Yeah. You, you yeah. call them, and they're was, like, "How do I know you're not the scammer? How? Why? Why should you? Why? Why? Why should I do this for you? Huh? Huh? Why? Why? Why are you trying to steal from me? I'm gonna call my bank. I'm gonna call my bank right now. I'm not gonna talk to you. It happens plenty of time. Like they, they'll definitely tell me, like, "Oh, you're the scammer. I think you're the scammer." And meanwhile, and, they're buying gift cards for Ahmed yeah. and buddies. At yeah. that point, we're just like, okay, like we'll still try. We'll still leave them messages, and if not, we'll we'll contact relatives and tell them. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. So yeah, you've yeah, actually yeah. gone to that point, huh? Where you have had to we, call a relative? I had to call relatives. You had to call local police to like go to the victim oh, and shit. tell them. And yeah, like I have these like a uh, nice new group of like ladies that help me with uh, calling victims. They specify in calling victims. Mm-hmm. So okay. I do call victims, but at the same time, they help me a lot. So what I do is I mostly just monitor the scams and then I just give them the information of the person being scammed and the type of scam and they'll help me. I think I've heard them on your videos. Uh, Definitely have. You call them, right? Or, uh, no, that's a that's a different uh, different guy. He he used to help me. Okay. Um, yeah, it's these two ladies. They're really nice. Uh, Boo Bear and Deborah. Okay, because um, uh, there was one that was really savvy and was telling the woman, you know, oh no, this is what happens. They're gonna do this with the bank page. She was yeah, like, really was walking my, the woman through. Yeah, you know? that was yeah, that was my yeah, that was probably one of them. They're they're pretty. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, the video I think you're talking about is. Uh, uh, this one, I found it. it's I, I, it's I, it's my, the second to most recent one. Put it in the chat right there. Yeah, I think we uh, we watched a couple of those the other day. I'm actually curious. Like you mentioned, private investigator. Do you have any kind of? Are there any, you require any kind of specific licensing or anything like that? Or can you just do this? Or, I mean, or are you kind of walking a line like, there? Yeah, like or, what we do is just like wing it. If I'm honest with you, like what we do is illegal. Like you're not like we're <laughs> we're we're in not we're we don't have permission to access this person's computer, and that's where it is. Yeah, we cross that is where the oh, line is. Oh, that's the the sticky. Okay, that's, gotcha. like we don't have the permission. Like that's the thing is like when they're connecting to me. In theory, since I can reverse the connection back to them, it's accessing their com- accessing their computer without their permission. But I think the that's why like I don't uh, you know show my face on my YouTube. Absolutely. Or, yeah. Yeah. You know, just to be safe. You know, Jim Browning. You know, scam baiter. We even but like there's some people I don't care. Scammer payback. Like he he shows. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but the guy oh, with yeah. the blue hair. Yeah, scammer payback. He's pretty big. Oh god. Uh, like, he shows what's his, his face. name? Uh, Pierogi. Pierogi. Yeah, yeah. His name is Pierogi. Yeah. Uh, he he shows his face. You know, he doesn't care. He doesn't believe the people in India will actually take the time to find him. But in my personal eyes, it's like if I disrupt scammers' operations, if I'm making them lose a lot of money, oh, that poor ba- that bait and that name that lady Betty, like uh, he watches like the scammer watches my video, right? <laughs> they see that they, they they see a victim like call, right? They see a victim like call that that was their victim, like oh that was the Betty that I was calling. I was trying to steal forty five thousand dollars from her. Fuck this nano baiter guy. <laughs> he just stole forty five thousand dollars from me. Right. Why would they like me? They're gonna they want to kill me after that. You know? Have you seen the um? It's Actually, like a legendary series uh, of them, Jim, Mark Rober, Trilogy Media, Jim Browning. They went Oh, and, yeah, well, yeah, they, they actually had to save this they, guy. So they infiltrated the scam. Wait, go ahead, yeah. Well, he was, remember, there was a dude who, who left because he said, man, you know, the, I told them I wanted to get out of scamming. They wanted to right, kick that my guy, ass. Exactly, right? yeah, yeah. Johnny, um, I think, is what they're calling Johnny, him. Johnny, yeah, Johnny's yeah. like the OG. Um, <laughs> he's the OG. Cool. Yeah, he's cool. He's like the one at the beginning that they started to work with. And then they started to work with more people that wanted to be in the inside. And then right. they made a video of like the glitter bombing the scam call center. You saw that? Like, uh, oh, yeah. They, they open the cockroaches all the and all that stuff, the, the rats and all the cockroaches. Blows so. up at them. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Um, like that operation. <laughs> um, what was I going to mention about the, the victims involved with that? Something about the victims. Like, well, I guess blank. it's, you know, it's very sticky because again, you got these, uh, you know, they, they're, they can get violent. These uh, people that run these call centers, you know, they'll threaten people that talk about leaving and and uh, well, it's, it's been, like shit. It, it, yeah, like after especially putting them in jail, like then they hate you forever. Then it's like, oh, that that guy, he put me in jail. It's like then you can really, it's at that point, you're like then you really cannot reveal who you are because then you know um, they're not gonna like me. <laughs> like right. uh, it's like Pierogi's not allowed to go to India. He's like like he he banned his his girlfriend or whatever, like his wife banned him from going to India because he'll. You know, it, oh, this is what I was going to mention about that uh, cockroach video. Trilogy Media, we know when they went to India. I don't know if you know that segment of the video. Yeah, yeah, but I They went to it. India. 
And everyone in Salt Lake side saw like someone saw them, and then they posted in a chat with fifty five thousand scammers to to go kill them. Oh like, shit! To go, yeah, to go shoot them. Like like if you see them on site, just take out your gun and shoot them. Like that was the thing. Like they thought they were like the trilogy media was coming with FBI. Oh, okay. So and, they thought you're like, connected with law enforcement. Like they thought the trilogy media guys were going there to fuck them over, which they obviously were. Like they right. were going to fight, and like that was what other reason would they be going to India? And then uh, they're like, we're going to kill them because why wouldn't they? They disrupt scam. Mode. Like it, in their eyes, it's like free. It's right. like, oh, we don't have to worry about one more person like fucking with us and educating people. It's pretty See, fucked up, honestly. And, and here's the thing, too. I don't think, you know, I think India may be the workhorse, but I'm betting a lot of those scams originate here in America. Just because when you pick up the phone, the initial voice you hear is an American voice. This is Amazon refund. You've got, you know, and it, it sounds very official. Well, those are, believe it, like those are just like um. You go on Google right now, and you just search up text to speech, and then they'll literally just type in whatever they want. So let's say they want to type in a fake Amazon refund message, they go to text to speech right now on Google, and they type in their message. Uh, you have been charged five hundred and ninety nine dollars Amazon refund order. If you would like to, blah blah blah, call back our number now at eight zero eight. Press one to connect to an agent. You right. press one, and then you get connected to the scammer. Well, so, well, some are very robotic, but then there's others that sound really good. Like somebody they, actually they pay someone. I think mm-hmm. they literally pay someone to do it for them because then I guess I guess it make for some reason I've, I've heard the Indian. I've heard like the Indian people literally do it like with their oh, with the Indian accent. Yeah, with Indian accent. Oh, I've heard Jesus. it before. Like press one to click. <laughs> like I've heard it. Oh, everything. hell no. Yeah, I know. I know. And that, <laughs> I guess that I guess that at some point they were like, that's not working. So they had they did the robotic one. And then I guess now they're just paying people. But I've never, I haven't really heard the American too often. I get that all the time, especially for the card services one. They're I would like, love to hear Hi, that. It's Jenny I'm like from picturing it. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. The car, yeah. Those, yeah. You're right. Those, they literally, yeah. Yeah. Those, that, well, those used like, to be Americans that would call you. Right. I remember, yeah. You know, no, no. So. There is American still. You still get those. Like, oh, uh, yeah. I get the car warranty still. The car yeah. warranty one. I had the, the Medicaid one is a new one or Medicare or whatever. Yeah, yeah they do ass. Medicare. Yeah, and the guy was an American. He was like, "I'll knock you out, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, oh, yeah, I yeah. Was... Like Pierogi has done pretty funny videos on like, uh, like the call centers that are American. Oh um, yeah, you don't see as many anymore. It's you you're don't, usually out I of form now. I don't even target them, like, because they're just not. They're more sophisticated. If I'm honest with you, they don't even do any of the. Yeah. Uh, like uh, remoting or like, oh, even like it's like different. You know they. It's like it's kind of like the SSA, but uh-huh. like like they they don't do any remoting and stuff. But at the same time, it's rare. Like I don't get like I don't get those calls much. So from if you the American, if you are okay, let's say you you're in, in obviously the different culture in India with this stuff being allowed more kind of more lenient. Are there actual like companies that like stay in the same place, or do they all, they move around all the time, or do they stay? Are they this there? Like hey, this is uh. Scamco, and we're we have scam, you know, the scamco. Say, well, yeah, what I'm saying, like, like, <laughs> like, are they, right. are they always just popping up, like, um, like in different places, like, like, uh, different buildings where they pop a new because you know, you can throw a call center together. Like, it's a, that's a good question, actually, because, like, um, it depends on the group, honestly. Um, for example, if this boss guy he he's employed 50 guys, um, like, they're not gonna, it's not too easy to, to get, get all those to get all those computers to a new location. Mm-hmm. Oh. and get all the calling applications everything set up like it's just it's easier for them to just have everything in one set call center and then but once they've already been compromised or once they've already felt the need they like let's say they finish up their rent or something they felt the need that okay we don't want to work in this office anymore we feel either like usually they'll go somewhere where they feel safe you know so okay they'll go somewhere in india a nice office in like a like a decently nice office in india that you know has air conditioning has bathrooms obviously has like the normal like because like sometimes they'll have like the like they'll be scamming out of the apartments and you can't have 14 15 dudes like we've seen it before in like a tiny apartment you know 15 yeah dudes. you had one where a guy was yeah. doing it out of house out of the house i've okay. had plenty of them sitting out of house <laughs> like they do it they, like they 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 will scam from their homes they will scam like and, and it's a good question you asked me because like it, it really does depend on the group i had this one group that they all scam from laptops and what they do is since they don't want to get caught they sway they 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 switch between different hotels so they they, they oh. buy right interesting right they pay for several rooms they, exactly they pay they pay for a room like not several they pay for one room like five guys they sit in that room and scam for the day and oh. and yeah we like watch them like pay for rooms on the on their computer screens like we're literally <laughs> watching um 
but yeah, like I like I'm like watching their location. Like I see their location. I'm like, these guys are scamming next to the airport in a hotel. Like every week it's changing, right? Like a new hotel every week. And it's then like, it's like it's like, yeah. I would think that but, moving around, well, because you know, I, I think I told you. You would think it's right. You would think it's like more like elaborate in the aspect of not getting traced. Right, it's just right. very inconvenient for them. Like it's really in, like, it, it, but if they're smart and they have a lot of money, they'll do it. Like they'll do it often if they have a lot of money like that. Right. Which yeah. you know, the bosses might. The bosses are like, okay, IP change, new location, let's move. Well, not only that, but the, the conversion rate of, of US or which is a prime target to other currencies is like, oh, you get save me six thousand. That's <laughs> that's that's fifteen thousand here. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 Like it's it's different that way. I had a question about like, so you got into this and then you started disconnecting with all these other other scam people did they get contact with you or did you reach out to them because you got this network of all these people that are yeah, so you seem to know a lot of these guys <laughs> yeah they so, kind of it's, it's like a community obviously or something right going. like you're talking about like scam baiter yeah. scam baiter yeah, right Jim Browning. right yeah 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 um for the most part at first like i never thought i would be able to talk to them you know you never think like you're gonna you know you never think you're gonna speak to like the the people that have been doing it for a while mm -hmm. but in terms of um like them being youtubers and me wanting to work with them it was like i'm a youtuber you know i want to meet all the youtubers i, I want my friends to be youtubers you know right uh, so like I, I started to just like not necessarily uh join more scam baiting like i started to get more involved i'm like i realized how much of a community there is behind scam baiting like mm -hmm. months when i got in like i was like what there's like all these people that do it like like it was kind of crazy because usually at first like i knew jim browning and scam bait like i knew they did it i just didn't know there was all these other people behind the scenes oh that, right that can get me to the point of like um and i'm friends with all those people till this day you know what i'm saying like yeah it's not like they're any lower like they they do as much work as i do and i respect all of them whether you have a youtube channel or not or whether you waste their time or not any form of getting back at them i I appreciate what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Yeah. It's pretty um, cool. Like, it's like, you got this like network of like, like almost like crime fighting vigilante. Guy, yeah. You know? Yeah. We are like the, <laughs> well, the there's hacker, a lot yeah. of those networks now on YouTube. You know, the, the ones that go after the child predators, there's the, you know, that's a whole a bunch of different YouTube yeah, channels. Same exactly, thing with, yeah. you know, um, the sovereign citizens, you know? <laughs> so there's a cool. whole group network that they just kind of wind up linking up somehow. Yeah. I mean, it's a good question. Like overall, I guess it was me over time um building trust with people that i didn't even know new scam baiter jim mm -hmm. browning and yeah. i guess they knew that and they're like okay this person's not like using me to like no. get closer to anybody like i was just genuinely trying to do a, a good thing you know trying to hack more scammers and save as much people as possible right. and then i guess with that realization they were like okay we should let this person join our team you know um, you kind of had to prove yourself a little bit like that. I'm here to actually but like unknowingly, you know, like I wasn't trying to prove myself. It was just like me doing my thing. And then I ended up proving myself without knowing it. You know, like I was just trying to do things the right way. You can say like mm -hmm. there's a lot of people in the community that don't do things the right way. They hack. They, they I, I probably I tried to tell myself I probably want to use the HR word, but they try to take the access of scammers, computers, like gotcha. unknowing of what they're doing. You know, it's a unskillful way of doing things. Okay. And there's a lot of sensitive information on a scammer's computer. I'm sure that's obvious enough. You oh, know, yeah. there's there's a bunch of victim information. They they launder money. Yeah. There's a lot of things that someone with the bad intention can steal from people. Like you're 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 like we've had it before in the past. People yeah. who will use the the power for wrong. And so oh, yeah. we have to be careful, you know, about like you know who we explain things to and how we explain things. Yeah, um, you got the people like, oh, I really want to help. Come on, let me help. Right, you. and 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 I respect it because like, yeah. like it, it's like they they are they're trying to do something, and I was there too. I was there one day, and I was thinking about it the same way they were. I'm like, I think I can do something as well, but I chose to learn about it the right way. And I do see, and the people that I do see it that way, I give them a chance because they're doing it the right way. Right. In the aspect right. of them wanting to not only hack the scammer in the most efficient way, but even just waste the scammer's time in the most efficient way. How long can I keep him on the phone? Right, right. <clears throat> well, I'm sure even doing our like our podcast, it's a little strange. Like, you know, we could be scammers trying to get into your what, what right, you yeah, do, like you you, know? you always have like like in, in the aspect of like me not knowing you guys, um, you know, yeah. I, I don't really do things like this, but like I, I'm always open to joining things. There's not much you can do with me joining a Zoom call, you know. No, I'm right, fine right. with it, you know, you know. Yeah, and, and like you said, we we did it. No audio. I mean, no uh, video and.
So yeah, and we're a bunch right, of yeah. middle aged schleps just doing our little hole in the wall YouTube show. So <laughs> right. yeah, dude, I, I, honestly, I think <laughs> it, it can go further. You guys are great. Uh, and you guys are hilarious too. <laughs> you guys are funny. Oh, you so checked out you some of our other stuff. Huh? And the way you guys started the the recording oh, yeah. was hilarious. Is we'll that be like... ending it in our our lovely. Yeah, we got our own little well. hilarious way of ending shit too. <laughs> well, actually, we should probably probably get it's about that time. We'll probably wrap this what? up. I, I want to give my... you any information, man. Like well, a what, website. Before we do YouTube? that, before you know? we do that, let's ask one more question. What is oh, one the more craziest okay. freaking scam thing? What's the craziest like thing you've been involved with personally, where you're like, holy shit, like that you can talk about. Like, yeah. In terms of like a call, like a scam thing that you went through, what's the what's the biggest thing or craziest thing you you've dealt with? Mm, that's a good question. Like I have two, so let, let's talk about the uh, the first one, which is like a a victim. Like okay. uh, the, I I've saved uh, a good amount of victims, but like when I save a victim, where this one in specific, it was a lady. Um, it, it was thirty thousand dollars, and thirty thousand dollars is a lot of money. Like that, mm. someone someone will kill themselves. God forbid, you oh, know, if yeah. they. Oh yeah. People would, like like over a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, maybe not. You know, like you, it's still a save. Like you save them out of that money, but thirty thousand dollars is like, it's a lot of money. So I felt really good when I called her and I told her, like she was, as you guys, I, I bringing up what you said before. She thought I was a scammer. You know, oh, she yeah. thought I was. She thought I was. And then you know, when they start crying, it's a whole thing because they're like, well, now what do I do? You know, they're just, like, I, which, it, who yeah, do I trust? Who I, do I trust? Yeah, who do I trust? And what do I do? Like once they've already been like, I've been scammed. It's like a whole thing, but um, in regard in regards to victim saving, that thirty k save is like the craziest I think of, like I've ever done. I think I I, I think I've done more, but I wasn't the one that called. Mm-hmm. Ah. Um, but yeah, no, but I've done a good amount of saving, and that was definitely one of the most like heartwarming moments. And That's then in cool. terms of uh, in terms of like getting scammers fucked over. It was definitely the video where I got them arrested. The arrested really, one. I was gonna say yeah, the one where you it got felt arrested. good. It felt good. It felt good. Because <laughs> like you don't get them arrested often. You don't. You don't get the chance to the Indian police to actually listen to what you have to say and to watch it happen too. Yeah, no, it, it, it's a little annoying. I hate to say it that like, I hate to bring this the negative part out of it that they unplug the cameras before we can watch. Oh, that's the right. Gold, they did. They killed the power. The yeah. gold moment before we can watch Mohit get arrested. <laughs> but you at least but saw the police coming in. If we watch the police yeah. walk in, I'm very satisfied with that. Like, there's there's nothing else I could have asked for. Like that that was great. And even getting them arrested, there's nothing else I can ask. Even if we didn't get to capture it on the CCTV. Like we got them arrested. There's, they're not scamming anybody anymore. You know, they're, they're, they're they have to start up again. And they're, and I don't know how long it takes for them to get out. If they can pay to get out, probably did. I don't know what happened after, mm-hmm. but um, I hope they are still incarcerated. If they're not, you know, it takes them a while to start back up again. They lost all their laptops. They lost all their shit. They're probably getting a spank on the butt by their mom. Well, you don't yeah. know. I mean, they, we, they may not have bond court. Or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, so they might like just we were, sit in jail. We don't know. Like we don't know what it is, you know? Like yeah. at this point we like we have to ask my friend Sven. He's the he's like the Indian scam baiter who uh who contacted them. I, I should definitely He'd put a be link a to good guy channel. to ask, like, you know, what happens? What's the penalty right. for that? You know, yeah, what I mean? he he yeah. he um actually in Scam Baiter's video he mentioned the the penalties that they got if you want to watch it towards the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, here I, I I believe you guys obviously watched his video first. Um, oh, scam! But yeah, but, scam Bader was the first guy. Yeah, like the first video you came up on your recommended. I'm assuming. Well, well, actually, see, it was it was him that got me into it originally because I'm going, damn, this dude gets technical with this shit. Like he's right, hacking yeah. into their phones, into their computers. Yeah, that's so how I, felt. I found yeah. you through him. So I was like, oh, okay, you know. Cool, and yeah, man. and scam Bader's really busy, so he won't be able to like uh, like he doesn't do stuff like this at all. Ah, uh, so, okay. Like, I, I, I hey, still yeah. have some time with my so. I have well, no problem. We really doing. appreciate you coming on and uh, and also doing no what problem. you're doing, man. Kind of going yes. back and kind of help because clean up things that other people just don't even think about or help clean up. So and then showing it out for everyone to laugh at and see and go, holy shit! And plus, also just to be aware of like how how these different things work. So yeah, appreciate yeah. that. Where can we get no, you I, at? Um, I really um, appreciate like uh, you guys having me. Like it was cool. Absolutely. Um, do you have a website or a YouTube? Well, I know you have a YouTube. Right. Yeah, Give I got the YouTube. Out. I have like a. I do post like some clips of my videos on TikTok, but just because uh, it's free views, you know, TikTok's free views. I don't right. know. Yeah. Like the, I, I don't even use the platform often. I just screen record my videos mm-hmm. and then uh, whatever. And it, I guess it gets to like I hope like it gets to more people that will maybe show their grandma like, right. hey, this person, you know. Because on YouTube, I, it's harder. The algorithm's just different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you can definitely check out my YouTube channel. I appreciate that. Look, uh, man I also have a Patreon. Yeah, if you want to support it's me. N-A-N-O-B-A-I-T-E-R. If you are listening and not watch or not watching or can't get the link. 
Right. So check that out. Uh, we'll post it in the description too. So Thank that you. Way. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. And uh, I'll even put you guys in my uh, like community tab mentioned. I'll put the podcast in the community. Oh, tab. No. Cool, Hopefully man. some people check you out. Right, well, you what you, you can much. do, why don't you shoot us your, uh, just send it through email, your uh, link to your Patreon, because I'll put that oh, in the appreciate description that. too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah no, I, yeah. I appreciate that. Cool, man. Um, yeah, no, it, it was great talking with you guys. Hope I didn't take too much of your time. No, no, that's the whole uh, reason we had you on, man. Yeah, yeah of course. Stick like, with uh, us hope... for... Okay, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, sorry. No, I just, I hope my, my answers were satisfying. I hope you guys got... Oh, like, yes. Uh... This is very okay, stupid. Right, right. Okay, awesome. And I'm, I'm happy to come back if you guys ever want me to... Uh... Cool. Ever join? Yeah, just cool, hit man. me up on uh, email. You know. Cool. All right, we'll Good do shit. so. Yes. Well, this this has been the nothing sacred interview with Nano Bader. I it was six to on, stay on with us for just a second after after the show. But like I said, nothing sacred interview with Nano Bader. I am Cruise Control, and I'm Maxwell Silverhammer, and, and that's, that's the, story the story there, there bitches. bitches. <laughs> Later. See ya. We are nothing sacred. We are nothing sacred. We are nothing sacred. With Maxwell Silverham. We are nothing sacred. With cruise control. We are nothing sacred. Sacred. sacred.